routine, taking it miraculously. They say I'm only dreaming when I hardly ever sleep. What is up guys, Grenader here, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be talking about a cool little effect that I'm going to call the not text me during I'm making a video effect. And um, that effect will involve the, a clip that I used in my previous OCE, my one clip edit. And if you guys haven't watched that, link to that description down below. You can go watch it. And hopefully by now I edited it in I edited in the uh, part of the final product and what you'll be creating today. So it's basically a synced up slow-mo and speed up sort of thing and it looks pretty damn cool so i've been getting uh, you know just so many requests way too many requests guys but i've been getting a shit ton of requests to actually make a tutorial about it so just now i'm getting right onto it so hopefully you guys can see clearly and all that stuff i'm using for the kind of the first time ever OBS. OBS is open broadcast software and I'm using this for the very first time. I'm going to see how it turns out, how it performs and all that good stuff. So uh, let's get right into the tutorial. So I did a little bit of work ahead. So let me explain here what I did. Um, what I basically did was I opened up Adobe After Effects, I imported the song I'm going to use, and I keyframed, or not, I, didn't, I didn't keyframe, I marked the parts that I want to sync to. So these are the beats that I want to sync to. So every time you shoot, it's like, bon, chico, bon, chico, bon, chico, bon, you know? So it's synced up and it's gonna speed up and slow down, speed up and slow down, right? For each and every single kill. So uh, go ahead and do that right now. Pause the video if you must and uh, get back to me once you are done with that. So hopefully by now you've already done that or you just completely skip that out and you're just watching the video while eating a nice bowl of yummy cereal. Oh yeah, okay. Moving on, I'm going to import a clip and um, I don't know if I, well I guess I just might because I'm way too nice with you guys. I'll leave a link in the description down below to where I got this uh, pack. It's not real, it's a PC like clip sort of thing. So I'm going to be using a, uh, this is Ballista ACOG clip. It's pretty damn cool. I'm using this one because he gets multiple kills so it will look better because it's just not three consecutive kills so um i'm trying not to ram preview this because then the audio will play super loudly and i don't want it to do that and i don't want to get copyrighted but i just might i don't know i'll figure that out later on during the video but as you can see this is the clip that we'll be working with and hopefully my laptop will cooperate with me please cooperate Okay, let's see if it'll do is for me. I guess it just needs a little bit of time for it to like get. You hear that? You hear that? Yeah, it's working its ass off. Yeah, ramp previewing this. So, um, I'm just going to go off camera for a bit, or I'll just speed it up. And what I'm going to do is find the parts where he kills someone and mark them. And by marking, I mean hitting the little asterisk key and um, that will make a mark and then I will just eventually line that stuff up and show you guys what to do from there on. Something I will do on camera is as you can see here in this clip it is there's a huge ass 60 frames per second thing and it doesn't look like it's fitting the square just right. This resolution is in 720p 60 fps. I'm going to show you real quick here in composition and composition settings. Uh, here it is 1280 by 720 that's 720p 59.94 and that's pretty much it so i'm going to hit s that'll bring up your scale and i'm going to scale this up just a tad not way too much so instead of 100 let's do one oops not five let's do 105 and yep that looks exactly what i wanted it to be actually uh feeling i'm feeling a bit conservative today let's do one of four not seven i'm bumping into my mic here all right here we go 104 and now i'm going to go off camera or not off camera but i'll just speed this up but i'll i'm gonna go basically every time he shoots and gets a kill so for example let's see you can hear my laptop working its ass off um i think he gets a kill right here like in the beginning of the clip so Cox back, 
that's what she said. And he finds this sniper dude. He's like, hey, bro, you're going to get fucked up. Okay, so we need to get right to the part where he says, fucked up. Right there. That is the part. So I'm going to hit the little asterisk key. I guess I don't have to go off camera anymore. Okay, so I'm going to speed it up here. And we're going to turn around. And we're going to see this guy and be like, hey, what is up, my boy? You about to get shot in the face, bruh. And bam, see how quick that was? You need to find it and you need to go frame by freaking frame. So I'm going to hit the asterisk key one more time. And we're going to go again, speed this up. He cocks back, spins around. This is a little loop-de-loop. -loop. There's a guy with a knife, I believe. I can't really make it out because it's in a quarter resolution. And boom, damn, son. Get fucked up. Okay, here we go. We got that. I'm going to hit the little asterisk key. And I apologize if my microphone picks up the background noise in my house, so I'll try to remove that as soon as I can. And here we go, he cocks back, and I believe that is it, and I probably chose the wrong clip. Yeah, this is the wrong clip, but whatever, I'll still use it. You know, you can use any clip, no clip is right or wrong. So, um, what I'm going to do is, why are they yelling, holy shit. Fucking LeBron James walked in. Oh my god. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, since I already ran preview this, I am going to basically do this. So I'm gonna do Control Alt T. No, wait, not that. No, yes, Control Alt T, time remap. And I'm going to go and zoom in and get right to the part where he shoots, which is right here. And I'm going to put a little keyframe and count back five frames. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. Let's do eight frames just to be safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're back where we were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. And then we're going to go over here. Go to this one. Ah, I hate that. He shoots so fast, you can't get it. So get one in the middle where he shoots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's that one. And last one right here. Ooh, I got it right on. Look at that skill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's it. Not really sure. It doesn't really matter that much, but here we go. We got that. And let's see. I'm going to sync it from the beginning all the way to the end. So what I'm going to do here is that since this is the first uh, beat, I want it to start uh, maybe like right there on the first beat. Like that. And this seems to match up almost perfectly. So as you can see, this is just a tad bit away from it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this keyframe right here in the middle, move the marker, same place. Now, you're pretty much almost set. What we're going to do now is go into the graph editor here and select all the keyframes. And you might as well hit uh, F9. Let me just do that real quick, F9, and that is not what I want to do. If you can't hit F9 for some reason, like I can, you right click, go to Keyframe Assistant, and click on Easy Ease. Now, let's go into the uh, Graph Editor. Now, what we want to do, what we want to achieve here is a curvy pattern. And what I'm actually just now realizing is that, let's see, um... Let's delete these on the side. I'm doing this live. I don't... Let's see. Let's do that. Highlight all of these. And I think this seems familiar. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this one. And we're going to lift it up just a tad, just like that. We're going to pull this one down. And we want a curve to be here. But we do not... At any circumstance, we don't want a line. We don't want a line. So we want a curve rather than a line. So 
let me show you what we don't want. So let's see. That right there is wrong because it's going to speed up, freeze, and then no, it's going to slow down, freeze, and then speed up. So what we want to do is to get a curve rather than a line. So that curve there seems to be perfect. Now, what I like to do is I like to check to see if it literally slows down. Okay, it's slowing down and it speeds up to this beat here. And that's what I want it to do. In the past, what has happened to me is that I'm doing all this work and I'm not checking it. And then when I go check the final product, it turns out it like inverts. It speeds up, it speeds down, and it just does everything incorrectly. So uh, make sure to check as you go. That way you are guaranteeing yourself that it is going right. So let's see. It's kind of looking like a line, so I don't want that. I want to curve it just right. And again, just kind of checking it, making sure that it does not repeat itself, meaning like it doesn't go back to the previous frame. It goes through there. Lift this up as well. And pull that down. That is perfect. Let's check that. Speeds up, does that. Comes here. And we're going to do the same thing on that last keyframe. Pull that up and drag that down alrighty I believe that is all that there is to it and I will RAM preview this hopefully it won't blast my ears off let me turn on the volume and let's RAM preview this hopefully it turns out just like I hope it turns out too come on just render please render I really hate my laptop, guys. It's a old Toshiba laptop with 4 gigs of memory. An i3 with like a weird number in it, but it's an i3 Intel and 4 gigs of RAM. And those two are not good specs for a editing PC that you want. So this is just temporary. I'm building a, what I'm going to call the Mio. Uh, my Mio build, and I'm gonna build it with a Core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a NVIDIA GTX 960. Isn't that pretty cool? I think that's pretty cool. It's like the total build is like around $800, so uh, hopefully it's worth it. It'll be worth it. I mean, it's like double the double the RAM, double the performance. So we'll see how that turns out. Now, what I usually do is just select that motion blur, no matter what, do that. Um, I have a, where is it, where is it, uh, where are my effects, here it is, here it is, come on, effects, 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 oh my god, I am so unorganized, so unethical, alright, here we go, I have RSMB, well, this is basically 300 frames per second, so I don't think I need RSMB, I meant to put, um, MBL, right, that's magic bullet looks, or, let me just type in magic or looks all right looks and I'm going to make a I'm gonna hit control alt Y yep adjustment layer drag that on there and what we're going to do is we're gonna drag that over here come on drag with me drag with me okay here we go and then we're gonna hit edit and we are going to choose just a random filter and then add the black bars and let's see I'm gonna go to I don't want to do anything crazy and over edit it but I want to do something subtle nice that looks nice it looks mystical and like blue over edit blue I don't like that blue I like this blue I'll just do over edit I'll do that one finish and I don't know why I have a Scottish accent, but uh, let's see here. That is done with that. Um, control Y, and we're going to make a black solid because I love black. Who doesn't love black? We're going to go over to our effects, type in Jaws. CC Jaws, my boy. Draw that on there. 
And we're gonna change it to, I think spikes is fine. It's just that it changed the height, lessen it, right? Completion. Oh, that's what it is. It's completion. And I guess just to your liking, I guess, right? You don't want to overdo it either. So I'll go to 70. Um, I don't know. That doesn't look just, let me go to folds for a second just to see. Ooh. Ooh, okay, I see. Okay, let's do 75. Oh my god, okay. Alright. And that is pretty much it to it. And I don't want it to just start off like that. Well, I kind of do. I'll add my intro or whatever, but this is how it's going to start, y'all. So I'm going to select everything and back this up to the zero mark just right there so it's gonna start go through everything and then end here I'm gonna go back to quarter that way I can edit faster and I'm going to make another black solid this one the transparency won't kick in until after the video is over and then hit Right click, key from assistant, easy ease. Start dragging this in here so it fades out nicely. So boom and down. Same thing with the audio. Hit L. Click normal audio levels and by the time it gets there, it should be at negative 48, not 46, now we get it 48. Bring that back up, back up. And then just a couple of seconds more of just silence. That way I'm ensuring that everything is fine. Select everything, Control Shift D, delete that. And then just copy the numbers here. Select A, Control C, composition, composition, composition. Add to render, oh wait, no, composition settings, excuse me. Control A, and then paste whatever you copy. And everything seems fine here. I'm gonna go composition, add to render Queenie, whatever, Q. Um, best settings, that's usually what I do. Lossless, okay, that, that was loud, okay. Instead of lossless, let's do QuickTime. I love QuickTime. Include this because I think it makes it faster. And then that stays like that. And I'm gonna save this to my desktop and call it edit hit save enter key hit my caps lock so that way it renders faster and that is pretty much it guys that was pretty much it so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video thanks for watching I'm, I, I really can't say thanks enough because you guys sat through this entire video you heard me rant and you heard my brothers yell and all that stuff and you stayed through the video so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like down below and make sure to smack that subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys